I got another craft kit from Christian Craft Paper in the mail. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Liberty from Before and Afters blog, where I do all sorts of projects. This month's package came a little late, but look how big it is. It is always so much fun to open these and see what goodies are inside, like these cute little papers. This one with holes punched in it and pretty designs, pretty colors. It looks like a butterfly theme here. There's a cute little butterfly button, a sticker, a wooden butterfly cutout, and some orange checkered ribbon, and a magnet, a really strong magnet. So many possibilities. When you see the pictures of people that use these kits, no two are ever the same. They're always different. And there's always two of each napkin. I really like this one. The colors are pretty. And of course, this is a popular verse, Joshua 24, 15. But this one goes with the butterfly theme. There's an orange one. And of course, the hymn, Sunshine on the Hill. Sunshine to go with the bright theme of this package. So now I'm going to think about it and see how I'm just going to put this all together. Okay, I'm ready to do this Mod Podge project from Christian Craft Paper. It's a really big one. So, I have planned out, I think, what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this napkin. And I'm using it because it has a butterfly on it. And that goes with the butterfly wooden cutout that came. And since it's pink, I think I'm going to use this paper to put this rose on here. with Mod Podge as well. So, let's see how it turns out. Trace this on here. And cut it out. To the best of my ability. Good. It's windy outside. We've had some rain. I don't know if you can hear that wind. Probably not. That butterfly cutout is not quite symmetrical, so...
I have not Mod Podged with paper, really. Mostly just napkins and tissue paper. I even used a paper tablecloth one time. I have a picture about that. I'm not sure if I have a post or not, really. But I used a paper tablecloth on a dresser. And I did the whole dresser. The drawers, the top. It's a small dresser, but... Um, it was fun. And I did it with a 4th of July theme so that it... And then that's where I store my 4th of July things. So, I think that looks... Does that look alright? Matches pretty well. You know, I have seen a thing where they take a match and they light the match and it burns off the extra edges around the edge. I wonder if I dare try it. Hmm. I think I've seen it done, yeah. And the wetness of the Mod Podge it keeps it from catching on fire totally. What do you think? Should I try that? Hmm, I'm really tempted. I think I'm going to get a match and try it. So, hold on here. Okay, I went and grabbed a cookie sheet to make this safer. Grabbed my, my matches. Um, you could use a lighter, but let's find out if this works. I have water to put the fire out. I need to so I hope this works like I think it's gonna if not you'll get to see the fail and then I can use the other side so here we go because it's paper I used a lot of Mod Podge here so it will really stick well and also, since I'm planning to light it on fire. But maybe I used too much. <laughs> oh my. Or maybe not. Let's just see. I hope it really helps with these antennas because I just really don't know how else to do it other than this method that I heard about and haven't used yet. Okay. Have you heard about this method before now? I'd like to know. I'm curious. So. Nice thick layer of Mod Podge. Put this on. Smooth it out. Well. I wonder if I need to Mod Podge the top, too. I don't know. I don't think so. Make sure the antennas are on. Everything's on really well. It might just burn right across the top. Maybe I can blow it out if it burns too far. Oh, well, let's just see what happens. I do know how to light matches, but let's try a different one. Okay. I kind of wish I had one more hand. Okay, let's see what happens here. Is it going to work? Maybe I do need a lighter. Well, I'm not burning up the place. That's a good sign. Hmm. Well, let's try a few more matches, but I might wish I had a lighter. Because it looks like this might not be as flammable as I thought it would be. Hmm. 
I'm gonna catch the wood on fire. Maybe the paper's not flammable, just the wood. Huh. Interesting. Okay. That'd be an interesting look. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a lighter. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, hopefully this isn't too much fire here. The lighter. I really want to get in between those antennas. Is it going to work? Oh, I think my lighter's out. Huh. Well... A lighter would work if it worked. Doesn't work. Back to the matches. I really want to get between the antennas. Come on now. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of charring it. I don't want to do that. It looks more burnt on the camera than it really is. It's not really that burnt. It'll give it that antique look, you know? There. That's working. Okay. Let's just get all the way around. It was the way I was holding it, I think, that was kind of So you know crafters watch other videos sometimes before they make their own and they said that this works much better on napkins not regular paper so while this paper wasn't very thick um, it's still just not working the best with this method but I'm gonna try it ouch I'm gonna try it again with a napkin because this is actually pretty fun. So, yeah, looking really good, I think. Yeah, a lighter's better, much better. But see, now I can just with my finger go around, kind of weaken the paper around the edges. It's really good now, I think. <laughs> the fire also kind of helped dry this Mod Podge really quickly. All right, nice. Now I'm gonna take the magnet that came with it and glue it on the back so it's gonna stick on my sign. All right, let me get this metal cake baking pan out of here. Okay, I'm back. My magnet stuck to the back of my pan. So. I could have used um, hot glue for this too, but that'll be fine. Okay, set that aside. And here's my sign. Ooh, 
Isn't that big? So lovely. Okay, so I can use the back or the front and I think I'm going to take this screw out and use the back because I have a plan to cover up these and then I'll have the front to use as well. Okay, I might as well show you my plan. It is this decorative nautical rope that is a natural jute. I'm planning to hot glue that all the way around and I could use white or any color really but I think this will work great for this project. Okay, let me go find my screwdriver here. Okay, I didn't have to go too far. says I have nine and a half feet so that should certainly be plenty but just in case you're in doubt ever be sure to go around your project first make sure you have as much as you need um, they have their ends taped so they don't unravel so that's good uh, maybe I will just go ahead and cut this as long as I need it It really matches the hanger jute part. Boy, it's almost a perfect match. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut that right there. Okay. But I'm going to wait to glue it on just in case some of the napkin goes under there. Okay. And we'll separate it. I think cutting it helps it to separate easier. We got the top layer. There are three layers, so make sure you get the top layer. These napkins are just so beautiful. Sometimes instead of crafting with one of them, I craft with several of them. I think my first project I crafted with all four of them and made a really nice tall sign. I think this is going to be so beautiful. Now, do I want, how do I want to put this? Do I want the butterfly on the same side or on the opposite side? think it'll look good like that so how about over there that looks good okay and I'm just gonna kind of hold it in place
fold it over. Right there. And you've got to get the Mod Podge every little bit or else it just won't stick and it'll look funny. Okay. A bottle of Mod Podge goes a long way for these projects, which is really nice. Yes, I'm glad I waited for that rope because this needs to go under where that rope is going to go. Okay. This ribbon came in a different project. But I'm thinking it would look so nice with this project. Hmm. I think I might do that. Yeah. All right. Okay, I've got to get my hot glue gun heated up and I will be back. While I was looking for something else, I found these butterfly appliques. So I decided I'm gonna use this too, since we have a butterfly theme. I think this would look really nice together. Um, yeah. So let's put this right here with some more Mod Podge. I think it'll hold it on just fine. Yeah, I think that'll work. That should be good. Okay, now the rope around the edge. Let's do that. I was going to leave this tape on, but the hot glue is going to hold it together, so I'm just going to go. Better that way. Okay.
I do not have a lot to say today. <laughs> Sometimes I have quite a lot to say. But I've just been more quiet overall, all around. Mod Podge dries so quickly. It's so nice. If you want to do a quick craft, that's a good one to do. <clears throat> I see a little string. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so, oops, this part's not quite dry yet. Looking good so far, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And the back is actually the front. And I was kind of thinking <clears throat> of putting like a chalkboard type thing here where I could change the sign if I want to. So I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do with that. Let's see, we'll put this here. And then I was sticking around for some flowers for a different project, and I realized that these match this project too. So I think this would be a good place to. I'll show you. I'm going to cut these off. Don't you think these look good here to cover up where the staple is on the, on the rope? Maybe even another one in this corner. I could put them in all the corners. I could put them where the where I took the screw out in the middle, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to put anything there or not. Um, so, yes. Let me go ahead and cut some more of these off. Because I want to use these. Somebody gave me a whole bunch of flowers like this. Small ones, different colors. If you just let people know that you're crafting, <clears throat> they will give you stuff. At least that has been my experience. So. Yeah, I think that looks nice there. Let's put one here. Nobody will ever know that I was putting these here to disguise the staples because they're in each of the corners. They won't even notice. That has turned out really lovely. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening to my voice. <coughs> Anyways, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge. With butterflies and flowers and pink. 
I hope you have enjoyed this project and thanks for watching. I can't wait to show you the next project.